Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some modded Gungeon. Oh, we before have... you go. No, oh, shit. wait, no. Uh, you should speak to the hunt guys. Speak to the hunt guys. <laughs> oh, hell. Because I'm true. pretty sure you've got a completed hunt. Yep. It's because it doesn't have a notification. I just goddamn forget. Anyways, never names here. That he is. That yeah, he is. hi. Yes, I am. Hi, hello. He's actually in a good mood today. It's crazy. Oh, God, yeah. I'm roided up. <laughs> He's drugged. Oh, I fuck, my zipper's gotten stuck. Ah. He, he got so excited he had to take his cock out, and now it's stuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Be quiet. <laughs> Silence. Sorry, no, he got so excited he had to put it back in. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, <laughs> so I have had really long-lasting long chronic sinus issues for a while. Like, and it, it has just been debilitatingly nasty. But, I recently uh, got prescribed steroids, um, which are supposed to reduce the inflammation in my sinuses. And it so far seems to be working. And I'll be on them for a, a while. Not, well, not too long, like uh, 16 days uh, is, is the regimen. And after one day, my sinuses were already clearing up because they are strong steroids. Yeah. So I'm just, I feel good. It's the first I just time feel you're good. breathing like a normal human for a while. Uh, not quite normal, but like the most normal I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. The most normal you felt in a while. You don't appreciate your nose until it's gone. <clears throat> yeah, whenever I get a cold and I have a blocked nose for the next fucking three months, it's just the worst. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Ringer also has a chance to negate damage when you're holding it. Aha, nice, okay. This thing is because very it's, Because it's an inherently dangerous gun. It's a very uh -huh. strong gun on the early game, though. Just, you gotta sort of pull, like, manage your, your location, sort of pull back as you fire it. Oh my God. By the way, I'm going to ask this now. Are you recording? Are you, have you made sure? Um, you double check that your audio is working. Everything's recording. All right, good, good. Why? What happened last time? Did I not record? Well, I know that you, it's happened to you multiple times in recent memory, oh, and I wanted to, be fair, yeah, I wanted I got, to spare you the uh, I wanted to spare you the embarrassment. And I got spare very, myself very annoyed at that time. happening last time. Yeah. Uh, no, it hasn't, it hasn't happened. Basically, my microphone kind of broke, and at the minute I have a patch job that I'm working with that seems fine. Um, it seems to be agreeable, but it's not ideal. Basically, I had my microphone settings all nice and dandy for a very long time, and then all of a sudden, my microphone was 70% quieter than it used to be, and literally not a single setting had changed. So I couldn't figure out why it was quieter, so I've had to boost my audio through OBS and through the microphone itself, which is not ideal because adding gain always lowers the quality, but it is it's it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Whoa! That... Hmm. hmm. Yay, I found a new game breaking bug. What? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> How I'm do scared. I always do this? Every single time. How do I always do this? I'm so scared. Does the Why? ring does the ringer shoot out an, a radial shot when you get when you get hit while holding it? When it negates damage. But I think I think it might just do that when any damage is negated while holding it, which would include the damage negation from robots' electricity immunity. Sick. So we, <laughs> I found another really, how do I do this all the time? I don't fucking Literally know. Literally every video I break something in a major way, for good or for bad. You're a demon. It's kind of amazing. Your, your computer was built on an ancient CPU burial ground. Apparently, all composite, yeah, not bad. Also, there's a secret room underneath yep. that shop. Yep. Just waiting, waiting to see if you noticed it. I'll give you my my shotgun, why not? What is that? Oh, Pretty the happy with this. Rifle. Pretty happy with the best rifle. A lot of serpents, so why not? 
Why not indeed? What the fuck is that? Hot coal. <clears throat> it's from Special API, so it'll be something wacky. Sometimes it ignites the owner's shots, but also ignites the owner when getting hit. A piece of coal mined in the black powder mines, very hot to touch. Grants uh, so, guaranteed fire bullets, taking damage sets the player on fire. While on fire, the player will leave a trail of ignited oil. So is it, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that seems really overpowered for a D tier item. Like Cons guaranteed fire shots? I'm going to say, especially considering it only sets you on fire after having been hit, not a chance to when you fire. I would have expected it to be a chance to set you on fire when you fire. Okay, well, it, it's... What? Didn't set those first bullet can on fire. How guaranteed is this guaranteed shot? Hold on. I don't understand anything. I, I'm confused. I've lost. I, I don't understand anything anymore. You've broken me. This guy's a dick. I just want to stand. Just let me stand on the water, you big oafish shithead. You are going to lose this run because of your insistence on trying to use this game break. Yeah, I am. I did. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's probably for the best. We go again. You are a strange little man, aren't you? I like taking risks, and I wanted to kill a boss with your broken thing to upset okay, you. Okay, but that's not a risk. Like, I can say, oh, I like taking ris risks. That's why I cut my wrists. And it's like, that's <laughs> not a... Not, not take, that's not what taking risks means. Maybe the risk of hospitalization, <laughs> the, risk of death. The risk versus reward is not, uh, <laughs> it's not quite the risk versus reward you're looking for. I, uh, you know, I get free tomato sauce. <laughs> get to visit your favorite nurse in the hospital. I don't know necessarily if I have a favorite hospital nurse. You just need to be cutting yourself more. You're not visiting enough. Clearly, that's the message we should take away from this. <laughs> we, we send I'm the just best not in hospital channel. enough. What the fuck is that blob? It's just um, a regular bob, bob blob, but with um, an extra little scary thing on him. Oh, I, I, I've seen that uh, that fire bomb thing. I've just never never paid attention to the particle effect. I'm say I'm up to um, a robber seven now, so I'm getting quite quite a few. Um, Funny, you really, you really fucking love that explosion, don't you? Bunny just likes visual effects in general. Yeah. Oh god, I'm a whore for Bunny's visual effects. Same. Everyone has something they're known for. Unfortunately, yours is the mistake. <laughs> I am proud of my legacy. <laughs> And my son. Say, Apache is known for glitch shader. Bunny's known for visual effects. Um, API is known, known for, for breaking just, shit. I'm known for breaking shit. API is known for just creating like some of the most non gungeon things possible in Gungeon. The hell is this? And June will forever be known for download prismatism. Yeah. I should buy a key. Ski will be known for being the only well-adjusted member of the modding community. <laughs> yeah. It's like Ski, Ski did it the normal way. Ski started out being relatively mediocre at making sprites and making mods and has slowly progressed into one of the best modders out there. You just kind of jumped in and made a thousand items in two weeks. Yeah. I have it. I have some issues. Yeah. Oh, bump my mic. Hopefully that didn't sound terrible. Baby, baby bitch, baby, baby Ring bitch, of bitch chest baby. Vampirism. Fuck. Nah, no. bitch baby. I, no, not, I think I think that's just. Bitch I'm not baby taking energy. Ring no, of Chest baby. Vampirism. Baby bitch. You baby. As you baby. The fucking guys, he baby. He baby. Guys, I think he baby. Like he man, but he baby. <laughs> no, you just baby. No, no man, just baby. Can someone make a tainted lost style mod that makes it so that you don't get any of this bullshit when you're playing as the robot? Oh, I need to. Uh, I need to port robot repair. Do you know what you need to port over? What the, the hard mode mod? Port these nuts. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. We need to. Uh, support through create. Uh, into porting the hard mode mod. 
Because if that he mod, does it, then he'll be incentivized to finish it. True. But that mod is, is fantastic, and I have a craving to play it again. God, I want another Lamington. I have another one. It's stopping you. Well, they're right there, but they're like one of those things where if you if you eat eat it, then it will be like um. Mm, if you mm, eat it, Lamington it'll be gone. noises. No, I don't. I just oh, don't want to make Lamington tell noises into the mic. Tell you what, um, I went to I went back to my parents over the weekend um, the for a wedding. It was uh, my cousin's wedding, <clears throat> um, and it was really nice. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I meant by that. Um, it was really, really nice, uh, but also I got to... Oh my eat God, a lamington when you say holy this. Holy shit, holy shit, this room is crazy. Um, I'm gonna eat a lamington. Do it, do it. But also, I got to go to the new cafe that my mum was working at, and oh my God, it is the best place I've ever been. Um, we got a, a panini to start with, which was uh, bacon, ham, and chili jam, and it was... Pretty amazing, uh, and cheese as well, obviously. <clears throat> and then, um, what else did we have with it? We had a, a fresh like sausage roll, which was really, really nice, like still warm out the oven. But then the highlight: bacon, ham, bacon, ham, and chili jam sounds like an alternative punk band from the <laughs> early 2000s. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it was it was truly amazing. And then, yeah, the best thing was really the desserts. So. I, I know that they're, they're, they're becoming more common, but it's the first time I tried one. They make these things called cookie pies, which is basically just a layer of cookie dough, then a layer of something else in the middle. In this one, it was Kinder Bueno bars and Nutella, and then another layer of cookie dough in case like a pie crust and then baked. And Dude. it is, it was absolutely one of the best I... sweet, sweet two things I've ever eaten in my life. And my mum gave me I... like a box of them to bring home. You're gonna die. I also got some Rocky Road, um, some brownies, and um, something called chocolate concrete, which I don't know if that's something that's commonplace anywhere else other than here. No, that's uh, what's that uh, that part in Willy Wonka where he builds a castle out of chocolate? <laughs> what does this do again? Uh, Negredo, it uh, increases your fire rate for how much curse you have. Sorry, I, my, one of my wires is getting tangled, so I'm leaning over my mic. By how much? A decent amount. I don't remember the exact numbers. Where are your stats? What the fuck? Where are my stats? Um, Kill it, you. Where Kill are my you. stats? He have he no he have no stat. But yeah, chocolate concrete is is the shit. It's very good. Basically, it was the thing that um, it was the thing that they always served you as dessert at school. It it literally just like a slab of um, of sort of this chocolate crumble style thing. Um, it's like sort of chocolate crumble thing, and then you have it with custard, and it's like it's like rock hard, but then it kind of the custard is used to sort of make it softer and oh it absorbs into it and it's very very nice and my mum made some of that as well and it's very happy i see is this fire rate upgrade sufficient middle it is I, it's hard to know because it's a semi-auto weapon so i'm have i'm not able to fully sort of thingy it but well, well, I'll, I'll have to see um in a minute hopefully i can get my stats going again and actually see but my, my basically my thought process here was i've got enough of the floor left to maybe get enough to get cleansing rounds as well and this would be a pretty good cast run. You fucking brilliant bastard. Indeed. I don't know if I will get out of it, it's quite expensive, but I'm hoping some jammed enemies. I, I was gonna say, on uh, on the topic of cookie pies, oh. I remember eating one of them like probably coming up on like seven years ago i gotta say they're not exactly new but they're not commonplace at a subway at a subway back you know how subway has an assortment of these big cookies yeah, that yeah. they sell as as a side for your healthy sandwich um <laughs> so that you just so that you don't feel too good about what you've done with yourself <laughs> 
Well, um, I remember once, a long time ago, they, for some reason, it was like they had uh, just decided to, I guess, trial cookie pies as part of their cookie menu. Nice, nice. And, and this cookie pie was multiple different kinds of cookie in segments making up the, the dough. And the middle of the cookie was a different type of cookie. <laughs> Mm. So it was just all cookie, and it was mm. so sugary, and it was just killing. It killed me, but I was young, and I could still handle sugars, so <laughs> I uh, I enjoyed it. Nice. But I'm gonna it, say one piece of it. So what's crazy as well is like where my parents are from, which is uh, Hull. It's like a lot, a lot cheaper of a place to live than where than where I live. <clears throat> uh, actually, yeah, I be, imagine actually. it's cheaper to live in a hole. Um. In a, in a hole, a hole of a ship. Um, yeah, it is, it is cheaper part. living as a bilge rat. But it's it was very surprising. We got, we got, um, I, I was already quite full from the night before because we ate a lot of food the previous day at the wedding. So I was like, I didn't want to have too much. So she offered us this cookie pie. And it was, I think it was £4.50 for um, this slice of cookie pie. And I was like, can you just cut it in half for us? Because like, I don't really want a full piece. So we shared one. And... The half pieces were fucking huge. Like one slice of it for four pound fifty. Oh my god, it was such a huge piece. And I was like, I was saying to my mum, you could sell the half a piece in wh where I live for the price of a full piece there. It's it's it, like it's crazy. This is kind of scary. Interesting room. I'm scared. Is it a good trap room? It is it's interesting. I like Valid it. Validate me. <laughs> validate me. I like it. Anyways, yeah, the, the cookie pie I had was rather small. It wasn't like a, a full-on pie. It was just like a small thing. And I I remember it forever because it even when even seven years ago, I thought it was so strange that they called it a cookie pie when it was cookie with dough of more cookie <laughs> it was just all well you know we don't call them cookies here we call them biscuits as well which is, is just again weird strange stuff oh what's what's in here ah blank man Chamber gun. Salt gun's actually pretty good. I do like I think salt, salt gun, gun is, is technically full auto, so it would benefit from fire rate a lot more. And it bener benefits from having uh, lower spread. We're going to do this first, though. This is not a particularly hard one, but I'm not making any guarantees. I love the Winchester theme. It's nice, isn't it? It's just so off-key. <laughs> If you fuck this up, I'm going to I'm smack going to you. Fuck it up. Yeah, I got it. This is the one that I always fuck up. Timing this one right is not something I'm very good at. If you fuck it up, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to oh, walk all the, the way over star. there. This thing, this thing you. fucking slaps. Don't slap me. I'll slap you with the load. Tell you some, something that something that um the ski does a really good job at. You know, I'm just gonna break that. I want more junk. I need to get at least five junk this run to get an unlock. So um something that ski does a really good job at is making fairly sort of normal and average guns really interesting um or like just fun to use. There's a lot of shotguns and like rifles that he's got in his mod that don't inherently have like the most interesting effect. I mean, this one's definitely got a bit more something to it but um but they're still just like really fun to use i've been trying to do something like that but ski is definitely the master like there's so many shotguns and skis mod that i just read every time i find them like not only is this slap in terms of how good it is but also it's just a fun weapon to use because this goes all the way to england and sc and slaps you slaps you slaps you also got slaps you in your rotator it, chat yeah. 
Rotator, that game you don't play. I, I actually have it on my mobile and play it quite a lot on my mobile. I don't play it on my channel much, though. Rotato is one of the only series I actually, like, I I watch your Gungeon series, I watch your Isaac series, and the rest of the stuff, it's like, eh, doesn't really interest me personally. Like, uh, Dungeon Dead Estate. Dead yeah, Estate, Dead yeah. Estate, Dark Dungeon. It's like, eh, Dead Estate doesn't really interest me, and I've been told I should play Darkest Dungeon myself, even though I haven't. I, I still should, probably. Oh, you definitely should, but, uh, and, and it, it, it makes you have... Severe trust issues, and and you, you you name your characters and you feel for them, and they die, and you start crying. It's a, it's a whole emotional journey. Yeah, I would imagine so. I I need to <clears> cry <throat> more. I need to blubber. <laughs> I need to be wah wah. Baby. I had I had a severe severe like terrible moment of judgment in a recent episode of Darkest Dungeon, and someone's character died, and it was it was quite tragic. <laughs> I felt I really bad like about it. You say that every time we talk about Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so I killed something that was very important to someone. Like, literally, someone who put hours of work into writing this character and backstories for them, and I just fucking killed them. <laughs> it's just like, ah, uh, feel real bad about that. <laughs> feel real bad about that. Eat them so that their <gasps> nutrients won't Charm go to waste. Horn, hell yes. You can't use Charm Horn without summoning Lord of the Jammed. And you're going to advance Dragon. You make I a, mean, if you... You make a good point, sir. You make a good point. Am I going to listen to said point? We'll find out. You probably should. I'm still going to hold you on to it, because if, if, if there's something good enough to steal, I'm still going to keep it. Also, and, it's, you know, it's just really good in combat, fact. too. It's really good in yeah, combat, little yeah. little known fact, Charmhorn has combat utility. It's, yeah, it charges really fast. It's actually very good in combat. You know what? This thing's kind of shit against this boss. Anyways, yes. Uh, reason why we're going Advanced Dragon is because... Uh, there's an unlock in Once More Into the Breach for a robot to Advanced Dragon that Luke still hasn't gotten. We've made a severe error, though, because we haven't bought the rack key. No, we haven't, but I figured you cheated in anyways. Yeah. Hello. Fucking cheater. What does best bullets do again? I don't know, I didn't make it. Gives the wheeler a chance to fire bullets, um, best of bullets around themselves. Oh god, this one. Fire our best. I want to see it happen. It's not happening. Just, I, I'm just imagining that meme of someone poking something with a stick and going, <laughs> "Do something! Do, do something! Give! Come on! Do something!" Oh my God! Press tab. It Shush. drives me mad that you don't use the autofill. Shush. I am what I am. I am what I am. I am what I am. Wait. I could charm horn no. and steal it. <laughs> no. No. Then it would be legit. No. No. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're getting the rat key is acceptable cheating. Because it means you have to go to the rat. And I actually have to do the advanced dragon. I'm going to have to give yes. my junk away. Not if you get, like, glass guan stones. That's true. You normally do get a few from him. Oh, by the way, someone made a very good point with this Curse of Flames bullshit that keeps happening. Can you make it so the curse just gives you, like, two seconds fire immunity when you enter a room? Because I this, can. Because this curse... I'm not sure that like, would help, though. This curse has quick become one of my most hated curses. Because you sometimes you'll just walk in a room and it's like, lol, fuck Listen, you, I... there's, there's fire directly under your feet now. I'm not sure how to get a position away from the door outside of doing while position is within distance of player, repick position, which You don't need to repick position, it's just give some, give some immunity to fire. Well, yeah, but uh, you, I'll do that and then you'll complain. What the fuck's going I, on with my reload speed? I think this gun just has low reload speed. Seems goddamn like it. Uh, and you're reloading more than you normally would because you have a higher fire rate. 
True, true. Ah, what the fuck? I got hit. Anyways, I, 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 my ideal solution would be to do that fucking wild loop, but I just, I don't know, I, I, I'm nervous. Doing things I've never done before makes me nervous. Uh, even when that thing is just a fucking wild loop, <laughs> it makes me nervous. Makes you feel uneasy. Yes. I'm inviting this demon into my home and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it works the way I've asked it to. Never really quite know. Yeah. It's like, again, code is just magic. Code is magic. If you, if you, like, do code, then you're, you do magic. Pretty much. To, to, to pretty much anyone that doesn't know code, that's what it looks and feels like. I mean, I, I know a decent amount of code and that's what it feels like. Especially when you see someone that's significantly better at it than you are. Like... Sparpy the other day was showing me what a transpiler looks like, which, I mean, again, do you know what a transpiler is? I don't. I have never heard that word in my life, and I probably ought to. I, I barely do. You you don't want to use that, Shrek. Right? <laughs> Isn't that just a full heal or reduce you to one HP? Yeah. Which is useless for this character. It, it works on robot, but you don't want it right now yeah, because yeah. you have good HP, and you don't want to be set to one armor. I did make that shrine work for robot, which is why you don't want to use it. Because it, it, I think it can, like it, I think with robot, it specifically adds to that. I don't know. I, I don't know how it works with robot. Not much. I don't know how my guy that I was right next to. He's kind of not there. Life isn't fair. These enemies are so good. They are. They're really cool. They're, they're, they're literally, they feel like debts. That's how sort of vanilla they feel. They're really good. Yeah, they're such a good enemy. Oh, you little bastard. Calm down. But oh, damn, I um, don't know if it's because of just the fact that I'm getting a lot of jammed enemies, or the fact that I'm more a robber or seven, but things are tanky. Uh... I was just saying before, transpilers, they're this thing where you can run custom code in the middle of a predefined method, just arbitrarily, and they're very powerful, but setting them up, it looks like just a long string of incantations. Really? Yeah. Sparpy was explaining it to me, and he's like, hold on, hold on, uh, while you die here, I'm gonna go and actually find the message where he explained it to me and read it. Good idea. Oh my god. So, the transpiler, harmony patch, type of player stats, name of player stats, don't recalculate stats internal, harmony transpiler, public static I enumerator, code instruction, stat mods, enumerable code instruction instructions. <gasps> That's the part I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Is lead key For each cursed? Cast plus one, yeah, damn it. For each var instruction in instructions, if instruction dot loads field allow zero health yield return new code instruction op codes dot l dog dot underscore zero yield return new code instruction op codes dot call uh comma stats stats x yield return new code instruction op codes dot l dog underscore one yield return new code instruction op dogs dot l op codes dot l dog underscore zero uh code oh instruction op codes ld loca underscore s comma five op codes dot call vert comma X to recalculate yield return instruction. Oh my lord. And that to me, it just sounds like you're ch like that. It's it sounds like you're chant dancing around a computer and chanting. Ah, uh, code instruction, L dog. Yeah, yeah. Two. And and it just like you're just giving like commands. No nonsense, yeah. Like code already looks like nonsense, but that looks like nonsense compared to other code. Yeah, it's the extra level of nonsense. Really, there's no blanks Absolutely. for sale? I'm gonna have to fucking take an armor damage to accidentally use the blank. Silly, silly. Silly Billy. God. I wish I could understand transpilers because they'd be so useful to what I, I do, but like at the same time, uh, I read them out loud and you can tell why I, yeah. you know, that's not really. 
something I, I'm too oh, keen on actually there's a pit learning there. to do. There's a pit there. There's a fucking pit there. There's really? a pit Really? There's... That is... The pit border... The pit border texture exists to show you where pits are. But come on now. Who built this room? Why would you do that? That's terrible. Don't do that to people. That's rude. Oh my the god, this game right now on? is just so hectic. What the fuck? I mean, it's about time you got a fucking challenge in this game. It is. Maybe a Rob Ross 7 is where things really start to pick up. I don't know. You've had it I mean, too I am easy play for too long. I am playing on a high care run as well, which certainly makes the game even harder. But come on now, this is still crazy. You kids have had it too easy for too long. Why, why do sometimes the stars not burst? I don't get how this gun works sometimes. I'm shooting right through these stars I, and they're not bursting. I would imagine the stars have a smaller hitbox than their visual sprite would imply. Because those are like a... It vanilla projectile that yeah, yeah. Ski has just taken and slowed down. Oh so, wait, I've just realized how the Lone Star works and now, and now I love it even more. It doesn't have a slow reload, it reloads bullets one at a time. Oh right, yeah, I forgot Ski did that for a couple of his guns. That's so fucking cool. Also, by the way, sorry to tell you, this thing's hot garbage. <laughs> no. It's so hard to use. It charges. Mo most fast. of the time you fi most of the time you fire and it hits like one or two projectiles. Well, what do you mean it hits projectiles? Like the projectiles that hit enemies is what I mean. Like out of the ones that you fire, it's so hard to hit more than like two projectiles. Mm, I don't know, skill issue. Uh, that one I just will call you skill issue on because I enjoy this weapon. That time it did pretty well. Oh, to be fair, I've got accuracy up. That's what I was like. Wait a minute. Have, have I been lying to myself? Is this thing actually good? And I realised I've got an accuracy up. That's why it's doing pretty well right now. Man, you suck. Luke, when he has to contend with the idea that a shotgun is a shotgun. <laughs> well, it's it's better than other shotguns. Not significantly better than other shotguns. It doesn't even set things on fire. Neither does the unfinished gun. This thing has the word ember in its name. Yeah. Have you ever tried starting a fire with an ember? Those little shits are good for nothing other than burning your fingers. That is fair. That is fair. Um... <laughs> What was I saying? Uh, I was saying something and then it just slipped my mind. Oh yeah, code is magic. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I was mostly finished, but it, it just is. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Like, you're giving you're giving instructions to the magic rocks in your computer. I, I remember uh, in um, in uni when we had to we had to like code a three D graphics engine pretty much from scratch, and. That was obviously really fucking hard, and I remember like after handing in the assignment, looking back at it, and then just like not not be able to comprehend any of what I've written. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> like in the time, in in the moment, it made sense to me, but looking back on it, I was like, "I'm so confused at what I've written here." But it like, works, so that's all I care about. It's like, it okay, works. well, I'll need to Im I'll need to import this code library to. Uh to make sure that I have access to, to this function. And it's like, that sounds normal, but okay, I need to import this grimoire so I have access to the dark toad of Sathua <laughs> Gaga. Uh, yeah. It's like, so I, so I can uh, use the 12 dark words of the unspoken ones. Like, uh, that, that's the same fucking thing. Pretty much. Like, a code library is just a grimoire that you import so that you can cast the spells inside it um i remember there's this little comic that i saw that uh really encapsulates how it feels to write code it's about a wizard explaining summoning circles all right and to an apprentice and the apprentice is like what does this do 
It was just like, oh, this is the, the summoning circle. Oh, what does that part do? That's the, the sign of Azua. <laughs> it, it's important for manifesting energy into the mortal plane. What does that do? That's the symbol of Hyung Dungus. It's not actually necessary anymore, but for some reason, if we don't include it, the magic circle doesn't work. So we just <laughs> sort of have to keep it in there. It's like, what does that yeah. bit do? I don't know. I copied it from the internet and it works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so true. Also, we got Cast of Fucking Flames again. Uh, that's a bug. That shouldn't That shouldn't be possible. And I don't know why oh, it does that. Right, left, right, right, left. I'm gonna have to come back to these. Up, right, left. You're not supposed to be able to get two curses in a row. Like the yeah. same curse, two floors in a row, I mean. It, you're supposed to uh, only be able to get the same curse twice in a run and not two floors in a row. Oh, wait. I've got uh, fire immunity now. I picked up the dragon claw. Yes. Nice. It was up, uh, right, then left. Children of Caliber is, is getting a, a small update. To, oh, really? uh, sometime soon. Yeah, it's not major like a content update but it's it's mainly visual it's just a resprite to a lot of the older items because uh the developer is is just kind of done working on it but also wants it to look good so yeah, uh... they they're just gonna do i if i recall correctly it's like minor oh, bug fixes right. that are easy to fix right, and right. updated graphics for some of the older yeah. items like the dragon claw and the new sprites look really good. Uh, she showed me them. After all this time, you're still getting juked by spare rats. I know. It's almost impressive. I'm just bad. Yeah. We know. Huh. <sighs> Almost done. Soon, I will be uh, going to eat something for breakfast, and we'll be taking my second dose of steroids. Nice. Steroided up. I know. It feels good to be... It feels good to be good. It feels good to be well. Ish. <laughs> Ish. As well as you can yeah. be. Yeah, as well as I can be. I've got a lot of gun sprites sitting around that I, I'm just sort of nervous to code for. A few reasons, like energy, motivation, but also just I really struggle to come up with good, like, normal-ish effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they, they can be really tough, like ones that haven't already been done, but ones that would also be actually, like, interesting for a player to play around with. Yeah. No, by normal-ish, I mean effects that are interesting and mechanically unique, but also which don't uh, feel fantastical. Yeah. Just stuff that feels mundane enough that it's like, it doesn't make you feel, it, it doesn't fuck with you that the, uh, the effect is on what's supposed to be a real gun. Yeah. Like how M16 swaps between bullets and an underslung grenade launcher. That's like, that's it's an a interesting normal effect. gun with a with a cool effect. Yeah, yeah, it's a normal gun with an interesting mechanically unique effect, but it doesn't feel fantastical. Yeah. I fucking hate it when that happens. Like you're, you're too Actual... far. You're, you're like too far off the screen to like, or like too far to the bottom of the screen to like move in time for that attack to actually dodge it. Actual rat cope. He has uh, a to pretty be fair, long telegraph for that attack. Yeah, I know, but I'm an idiot. I also haven't fought the rat in a really long time, so as you can see, I'm kind of biffing it at the minute, because I can't really remember how to fight this guy, so I might just die. In fact, I probably will die, because, yeah, I, I don't remember how to fight this guy at all. Charm horn them. Yeah. It did nothing, but it distracted them. Oh, for them. fuck! How? You goddamn shithead. 
We're probably dead here. It's been fun. You just have to get good. Man, see, this is why I like forcing you to go to bosses you don't usually do, because... My fucking cult like, has you're died. The, you're the expert Gungeon player, but you don't remember half the bosses. I'm an expert when I want to be. <laughs> also, I, what dead cultist? I'm looking at him. Oh. He didn't. He's, he's right there. I, I couldn't see him for a hot minute. Okay. For some reason, would, I keep getting hit by this. You would be a terrible this. parent. That's like the easiest attack, too. He did it again. He just started that attack while I'm right in the bottom corner and just flung a sh <laughs> Did you throw your controller? I did. Dirty sack of shit. Fuck you and your bullshit attacks. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> I hate that attack. It's bullshit. I... What, what the fuck am I meant to do? Next? I can't take this shit no more. I can't. I'm wings of redemption in this bullshit. I'm gonna go. Oh, and, that's. I'm gonna that's go and gain three hundred pounds and start being an absolute pleb on stream. Yes, do it. Do it. Give I'm in to your anger. So Let fun. your hate flow through you. I, I'm genuinely so annoyed that I lost that there. Like, I mean, I haven't fought the rat in a really long time, so I'm kind of giving myself some lenience. But that was just fucking stupid. The missiles hit me way more than I should have. I Delta. used two... Why the fuck did I use two blanks on the first phase? The first phase is piss. I used both my blanks in the first phase and wasted. Also, this shrooming bullet thing was just not very useful, and that annoys me. And just everything about that can fuck off. Want to do a boss rush? Yes. I don't. Because you... <laughs> One wait, yes you don't. <laughs> I will on. I will do one, but I am angry. Because uh there is a robot, robot unlock yeah. for boss rush. So oh. we can still playing robot. I'm so frustrated. We, we can. We can still playing robot. The best care. I'm gonna Dare. open my window because that, that 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 death has made me sweaty. Anyways, I need to add more rat unlocks to once we're under the breach characters to force you to go back there. What do you say? I said I need to add more rat unlocks to once more into the breach to force you to go back there. To be fair, once I get into the rhythm of going back, I can fucking crush the rat. Like, I don't find the rat a hard boss if I've been regularly going to the rat. Prove it's just, it. I'm so out of touch and so, like... I just, I get in, I think it's because this, I've gotten to the point with Gungeon where like, I just no-brain it every single like time cope. I play it. Sounds like cope. Sounds like Kirk. No, no, trust me, guys. I'm just off my game. I, I can totally beat that rat. I just need to... Just need to get my game on. I'm just off my. I'm just, just, just getting back into it, you know. Ugh. And then we've got to reboot the game after this. And that's gonna take like twenty minutes. We don't have to. Yeah, but I'd like. To. We can always save that for another day. I suppose so. I suppose so. We don't have to. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We can. We can. Like if you're actually, if you're actually tilted about it, we don't have to. I, I'm not really tilted about that. It's just it. It is very frustrating that now when I want to play Gungeon, I have to. Fucking start the game up and go for a 30 minute walk before I can actually play it. The game takes yeah. so fucking long to boot up, it's ridiculous. Oh god. I was just wondering, hmm, maybe I could entertain you in that 30 minutes and uh, then I remembered the, the things that we normally do when we're not recording. <laughs> uh, and That's I'm like, I wonder, if Kay, I wonder if Kay's posted anything. And um, <laughs> I remember... I, I'm subscribed to Kay's cooking, and I don't really watch a lot of her stuff because a lot of it's pretty mundane in its content these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thumbnails, the thumbnails are pretty are, shocking still. Are phenomenal because, like, every video she posts, it'll be like some vague notion of food, and the thumbnail image will just be the most unappetizing thing you've ever seen. Yeah. Like it'll be slabs of like wet. Un unhappy looking grey beef. Anemic beef. And, oh, chef's fucking kiss. It's brilliant. It is. It really is. Makes me so happy. I love Kay. She's a gem. <laughs> the fact that she's still doing it is admirable. The fact that she's still fucking alive after everything <laughs> she's put into her body. That is also true, yeah. That is admirable in itself. Oh, I forgot to go right into that <laughs> Man, one. I love Kay's cooking. I wish the, I wish British people were real. <laughs> it's just a fantasy. 
the, the sad yeah. truth is that Kay's cooking is just like a small example of people that exist. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not like she's know, the only one cooking Britain. like that. She's just the only one putting it on YouTube. Yeah, the UK is a whole country. Crazy. Yeah. We should really do something about that. I gotta say, they clearly need help. I like this gun. I it really was funny like to me. Too. It's, it's like one of those guns that, again, basic, but very satisfying. Uh, this is a fantastical effect, yeah. but again, it is a, it's a basic effect that feels fantastic, I guess. It's difficult because there's not a real way of quantifying whether something's fantastical. It's, it's like porn. You know it when you see it. You can't define it, but you know it when you see it. No, I'm pretty sure I can define pornography. No, but I mean, like, as in, like, you you, you, you can't really say where the cutoff is, because it can be so varied, but you know it when you see it. No, I'm pretty sure I can define it. I mean, there is definite ways you can define it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you were trying to say. I'm just saying that, yeah, that's stupid. Oh, God, I want, a, another, I want another lamington. Make me want to eat lots of fattening foods, but I can't, because now I'm dieting this week until it gets around to Sunday. What's the point of dieting just for a week? Well, no, I diet every week, apart from one day. Because I still That's want to enjoy- sad. I still want to enjoy life, so I have one day a week where I can eat everything, whatever the hell I want. So you have to regain all the fat on that one day. Exactly, and then I lose weight during the week, but I try to lose more weight than I lost last week, so that each week my net weight goes down by a pound or two. So I'm slowly but surely losing weight over time, but I still get to eat food that I enjoy. I wish I had that kind well. of commitment to something other than destroying my mind and body. I have lost quite a significant amount of weight. <laughs> I went to the wedding and, like, literally all I had the entire time was, Oh my god, look at you! Oh my god, what happened? Because then no one's seen me since. You rub it in, why don't you? I'm Pick proud of it. I'm gonna rub it in. Skinny, skinny bastard married to his cousin. Living the life. Fucking rub it in, why don't you? Living to be the loco. Living to be the loca. I will be the loca. I will. I want to be the Loka. Give me the Loka. Right, he is dead. God, I, I love it when people butcher phrases <laughs> yeah, by inserting so English words into them. Uh, the most famous example is bone apple tea. Bone apple the, tea. Yeah. Ballistic rounds. Never remember what they do. Don't they? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, that's so valuable in the. That's so valuable in this mode. Oh my god. I'm so happy I got that. <laughs> Would normally be very good. Right now, pretty fucking useless. It should do something if you're in boss rush. It just it just doubles all your damage output so that it breaks the DPS cap and you do twice as much damage. Nah, it should be like 20% damage, 25% in boss rush. So it's not useless, but it's also not that bad. Ooh, this one, this gun could be Ooh, really Pandaphonia. good. Ooh, uh, this, this, this could be really, really good um, in boss rush. Pandaphonium's such a funny gun, because I've never seen someone pick it up and realize how it works immediately. It's very, very interesting. I just, I, I, I love anything that's got like bouncy bullets. Pandaphonium's bullets uh, bounce back towards you. Mm -hmm. That's that's how they work. But I've not seen anyone like ever notice that immediately or point it out in a video. Doesn't really make a lot of a difference if they all hit the enemy. Yeah, yeah. But... Especially in boss rush when it's not gonna make any difference. But I suppose you know that's the goal. <laughs> Especially with cannonball ride, which is kind of hard to miss. Yeah. He's a fat fuck. Well, there's one that's bouncing around. Yeah. Look at he go. Look at he go. 
Am I gonna kill him before he does his annoying attack? Holy shit. Never happens. It's boss rush. You're meant to rush the bosses. Oh my god, goose. I love my... I love my... It's a swan. Goose. What's that noise? It's the goose spitting. What is this? What does it sound like? Someone being waxed. <laughs> like, oh yeah, wax off. That's what swans sound like. Wax on. I thought swan I thought off. they just said swan over and over again, like a Pokemon. Swan. 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 That's actually what kiwis do. They just say a kiwi. Yeah. Uh, the feet, uh, they're named after the noise they make, so the, uh, <laughs> nice. if I recall correctly, it's the cry of the female kiwi that sounds like kiwi, kiwi, kiwi. I never knew that. Yeah, and I, I always thought that was neat. So the funny kiwis. little bird doing funny little bird things. I was like, kiwis are cute. Oh my god, I haven't seen someone gun drop in years. I gotta say, I was trying to do it, but I'm not very good at it, and it's also a lot harder on controller than it is on uh, anything else. It's not super effective, really. Good. You have to be very quick with it. Oh, last time I saw someone gun drop was probably when I was watching Retromation play. Man, that it was a long time. time ago. He used to yeah. do it all the time. There's a gun in my mod that specifically resists gun dropping. <laughs> Yeah, because it is like a pretty busted tactic, to be honest. Yeah. Wait, what? Man, when are you going to learn to guard flash? So you can be the epic Gungeon YouTuber. I used to know how to guard flash when I used to speedrun this game, but that's that's a long while ago now. Ever, ever occurred to you how many like weird, obscure tactics have these cool names in games? Yeah, like, I, th that's one of my favorite things about, like, I... I, as many people do now, watch a lot of like the speedrunning documentaries and stuff. And one of my favorite things is like hearing how certain tricks get their name. Because like some of them just have the most bizarre names. Yeah, the triple weather tanker. Yeah, exactly. Good old weather tanker. Uh, yeah, I just love guard flashing as a, um, as a name because it, it sounds so cool it describes the effect perfectly and it also sounds like something you'd get arrested for doing <laughs> yeah. outside of buckingham palace another one that's like that from binding of isaac it does, doesn't exist in um rebirth but in uh flashing to happen is brim snapping which is it's when you um fire brimstone and then cancel the beam and immediately start charging another one and fire it and you can do this sort of weird tactic where it like Flashes a single frame of brimstone. Okay, like, what's it, the benefit though? You can you can do it really fast to like burst enemies down really fast. I see. Like they should. Uh, th is there a some mod for Isaac has to add an item that's called brim snap? Oh, I'm sure it does somewhere. It's like a known thing. I love the way those projectiles travel. It's It was something that was difficult for me to do, but I'm so happy with how it works. I keep getting guns that aren't very good for this. Paintball gun's okay, but your other weapons are better. You can I at least paint the bosses I, pretty colours. I just want a glass guan stone so I can get the extra glass cannon damage. It's like 50% bonus. The max pain synergy. Indeed. But I, I have been tempted to play a, a new game, not not new, like actually speaking, but new to me. Yeah, I've been tempted to play a game that I've not played before purely because it appeared in a dream of mine. Okay. And the, in the dream, it was so fun that I was like, man, I wonder if it's this fun in real life when I woke <laughs> up. And I know it, it won't be anything like the dream because in the dream I had a railgun. Uh, and I don't think you get a railgun in Red Dead Redemption 2, but... Because <laughs> I, I... I don't know. I just had a dream about being a cowboy with a railgun, and I was like, man, 
<laughs> it might be cool to actually play Red Dead Redemption 2. I really... If I can just shoot people. I really, really want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 again. Because I've, I've played it once, but I never finished I literally just basically played it free roam and fucked around for about 20 or 30 hours in the game and then didn't, didn't touch it again. And I really want to actually go through and play the story and play the game properly. People, I even yeah. bought it on PC so that I can do that at some point. Or like, if I wanted to do on YouTube or whatever. Um... People so want to I, tell I, me I now, really. like, uh, oh, or never, the, actually, you can get a real gun in Red Dead Redemption, so it's a secret and you can be behind a rock up on Old Man's Crag. It's like, um, <laughs> uh, okay. I guess. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll go get that then. Can I have ammo for my fucking ammo gun, please? I've not a single ammo drop from any of these bosses. Not that I remember, at least. I think you probably have. I think you just put it back into the glass cannon. Oh, I put. I did put one in the glass cannon, but that was that was valid. The glass cannon's good, but I would like ammo to put back into my ammo gun. My glass cannon is valid. Yes. But I had someone, uh, someone in the inscription community was saying some absolutely brain dead shit about glass cannons in games being the worst design ever. Hmm. And they're like, well, you only ever use a glass cannon to to win. Or, with, or to save you from immediately dying. And we're like, yes, that's like the point. They're powerful but fragile. That's like that's where the glass and the cannon comes from. Because <laughs> uh, this person, they're a, they're a good person, but they have the most brain dead. You, you takes said on you said that you said that in such a way that you clearly did not believe it. <laughs> they're a a good person. <laughs> no, I, I do mean that. I do mean that because I don't want to be like a, an arsehole to this guy. I don't want to be hostile, but they at have... At least not on video. <laughs> they have they have the most brain-dead takes imaginable on uh, on card balancing in Inscription, which just... And I've said that to their face, so I don't feel bad about saying that. Um, something has happened oh, no. here. <laughs> Uh-oh, stinky! <laughs> the, the swan it did something to them. Bunny, does the swan do something special that you forgot to, like, not fuck up? What the Bunny, fuck? Bunny, did you forget to not- <laughs> Did you forget to not fuck this up? Because I think you might have forgotten nope, to not okay fuck now. this they're up. Nope, they're okay now. I want to see if Are they the swan. okay? It's definitely uh, the yeah, swan. it seems to be. It's definitely the swan. It might be electricity, but uh, it's probably the swan. Ah, okay, so why'd you do it again? This is because it's funny. <laughs> I, what is this? It's like all the attacks and hitboxes seem to be working as they should, but the visuals are all sorts of wrong. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm scared. I want to go home. What the fuck is this? If this was a, this is a creepy pasta. I I shut them with the swan off, and then the kill killers <laughs> started behaving strangely. He's not even jumping towards me. Like he doesn't even he doesn't even care. Can they not jump through the fish? Is that what it is? Can they not pass through the fish? I have no idea why that would be. The fish are just debris objects. Really? Give the fish some water before you leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, the, ha, the fish debris should be able to swim in water. That would be that'd be so cool if it was in vanilla. Why don't you make a, an item that allows it, or, or an item or like another gun that like it makes them swim like piranhas and attack enemies? Ah, oh, piranha bullets that only go out. They can only move through water, but they deal a lot of damage and bleed. Yeah, that'd be so cool. That's a good idea, but I have no idea how to make them only stay in the water. Bugged tile. I thought it was a warm neck. No, that that happens like every time in boss rush, I think. Uh, it's just a bugged tile. Not sure why or how or, or who. <laughs> I think it's vanilla. It just is what it is. Yeah. Uh, speaking of inscription, by the way, I have been 
working on uh, a card for Act 2 of the game that is taking a lot of time. Is that one of the talking ones? No. <laughs> it's supposed to change form depending on who you're fighting. Mm. So there are so that's uh, four scribes in Act Two, three minions per scribe plus the, oh, the dummy. Oh, you, you did show me that one. Yeah, you did show me that one. Yeah. So that's uh, seventeen different forms in Act Two alone. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I, I died a little on the inside coding that, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost done, so. Will this break him? It isn't I hope not. not. I wish I liked Inscription more. There's a lot of cool modding stuff in that game. Oh, I wish you did too, but we both know you're not open to changing your viewpoints, so. I'm not. It just, it just never grabbed me. I mean, the first act put a damper on everything for me because I just did really poorly at it through yeah, mainly my own like, fault. I, I think that mainly the reason why you didn't enjoy Inscription is because you just didn't do very well in Act 1. Uh, like, you didn't use your items, and the game is balanced around you using your items. <laughs> um, you but, just but even, handicapped even like, yourself. Even, like, Act 2, I didn't... I wanted. I didn't really vibe with that too very much. Why not? I don't know. I just like I kind of liked the Pokemon esque vibe of it, but then when you got into the combat, it was just the same as before, really. But like it looked a yeah, bit this different. It's the same. It's the same and game. Just uh, I just didn't. I just don't really like the the way they did they handled the combat in the game. Oh, uh, also speaking of inscription, I have been playing PvP inscription. Ooh, which isn't a is mod. There are. There are two forms of it. One of them is on Tabletop Simulator, uh, which is a bit tedious because you have to like keep track of everything yourself. Yeah. But people have made modified rule sets for Tabletop that make it simpler to keep track of stuff. And you unlock the magnet. I did. Well done. Uh, and there's also a... Uh, a... Uh, peer-to-peer -peer IP connection thing that someone made in Godot that allows you to play in, in an actual game window, mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't have, like, all the cards that are in the PvP version. Yeah, yeah. So. PvE version, you mean? Yeah. Both, well, actually. anyways, we're, we're going to record another episode, so we're going to head this episode off here, and if you want to continue on with this conversation... Join us in the next episode, which will be in a few days. Yeah, if you want to listen to us, you know, shitpost and, and shitpost out our mouths, uh, talk shit, I believe, is the actual word for that, because I'm terminally online and my brain has been rot rotted. Uh, join us next time. <laughs> join us next time. Right. Thank you guys next for watching. Next time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.